Hey guys and welcome to a iron route for New World. Now iron is something that is quite fundamental with everything that's mining in New World and of course you're going to need an awful lot of it. Now as you can see we have some iron next to us. This route is a circuit and it is based in Monarch Bluff and you can see the settlement over here. We are just between Devil's Quarry and Divine Rise. Now, this is, there is a little uh, T-junction right here that you can see where we're actually going to start our route. Now, you could always pop potatoes so you can get a bit more of a better route. Um, I did do this for a few hours, well, a few runs earlier. So, it's around about 10 minutes to do a total loop of this. So, we are going to start off with this iron right here. Now, I did, like I said, I was about to say, we I did do a few runs of this earlier. I did about um, one and a half runs, and I got about 1,000 to 1,500 iron. Now, I do have some iron in my inventory. I did just do one run, and we did just get um, almost 2,000 odds. So, it's all done how busy your server is, obviously. Now, we are going to so we are gonna base it off this tree right here where we saw the first iron. As you can see up in the compass at the very top there, we're now going to head north through the hills. Now, of course, the nodes aren't always going to be there. Luckily, this run is just long enough where the nodes do actually respawn by the time we get around to it. If someone else have, hasn't yoinked it, obviously the best time to do this is, is off peak on your server. If you're UK, NA, NA or, you know, Asia, um, Australia... You just need to make sure you do it off peak. So the second vein is this one right here. We're going to continue heading north right now. So we've had two veins already, which is really good. They all spawn with three um, mini nodes. And we're going to keep heading north just until we reach over this ridge right here. Don't forget to look up the top left hand side of the map or left top left hand side of the video. There is a mini map that will be moving with me. It is all added in post editing, so it isn't actually in the game. Here is our third node right here. I am just going to mine it just because I do have the buff and there's no reason to pass up on some free iron as well. So one node here, two and then three. That seems to be the normal three thing when um, with iron that spawns out and about you do normally get three nodes. Now we're going to head 105. We are going to head up this hill. One of the best things to do is just listen if you can hear someone else mining. Once you've done this route one, two or three times you actually understand it quite easily. Here is the next node. There is actually some iron here, which is pretty poggers. By the way, guys, don't forget to check out my Twitch. I do stream every single day. We have transitioned over to New World for now. Um, I am a Tarkov streamer, but I am now playing New World because Tarkov is a bit dead. Heading across the road, we're actually going to head to 15 degrees. There are two silver there right there, but I am just going to leave it for now. And here is our next node next to the fallen down trees. Once again... Three nodes, good old easy life. I'm trying to get some fey iron at the moment, but not having any luck. Now, what we're going to do is head east. There are another two silver mines right here. We're actually going to just follow this rock line, but there are two silver nodes that spawn right here. And directly in front of us, as you can see, just through the trees, is another iron node. Now, whilst you're mining this next node, what you're going to do is, if you look over here, just over that bush, that's actually where our next node is going to be. Um, you can actually see it through the bushes. We are going to just head down here anyway, so I can show you where it spawns. But if you are if you don't have your graphics on good settings, you can just see directly through the bushes, like so. And we can see it right here. Okay, now we got all of them. What we're going to do is head to 40. But we have been streaming every single day so far since the release. And it's been an awful lot of fun. Day one, we were actually on an EU server. The times were so long. So I've actually jumped over to NA. I'm actually on the Roy Low server. Part of the MVG charity outcast group that is part of our Discord. Here's the next iron. And we have been absolutely dominating this map. Un until yesterday when we kind of failed our first war but it is what it is can't always win here is our next node once we're through mining this one we are going to continue in the same direction we're going to be heading directly towards you see that house right there we're going to be kind of going around the back of that house we're going to run past this bent tree just here and then you can see the iron node just sticking its head over the hill right here
feel free to join our discord though we do have a decent player base in there obviously you might want to be part of the the, the royal server if you do decide oh we are heading southwest by the way just behind this house here is our next node a big old boy and all three of them have actually spawned but if you do want to jump over to our um server come join the syndicate we are hopefully going to start making our rosters slightly bigger and um the, we are actually got two companies on here mvg charity which is the Marin's, uh military veterans um gaming as well as the mvg outcast which is our division of the mvg um basically on our discord we are classed as the outcast oh we're heading by the way in 120 now going directly towards this rock past this house and there are two nodes that do actually spawn on the top of here but yeah so we do actually have two companies so we are you know pretty big on the server it's not dominating or anything okay so here's the two nodes they are gone what you are just going to look now is at 150 you can see that there are a few nodes that spawned on top of here jumping over this go let's just grab these nodes but yeah if you're looking for if you haven't found a home yet and you want to get away from the queues they aren't horrendous on the server either we're only sitting around about at peak times about 600 700 it takes about 45 minutes to get in when i play which is the morning um it's not actually that busy we're now going to head in this direction southwest there are a few nodes it doesn't hasn't seemed to spawn someone could have grabbed it you can see right here on the ground continuing along you can see the nose directly ahead there is actually a bug up here which i am gonna yoink just quickly i'll pass up on these these bugs you're gonna need them for your crafting those moats are just really good and here is the next set of three not so sure which one's the big one out of this bunch When you are up here, you can see the start of our run just over the hill right there where the the, uh, the charred ground is. What we're actually going to be doing is looking to our right to see if the next iron spawn, which it has. Right behind that tree, you can see the iron node that we're going to be hitting up after our next one. What you want to do is, because sometimes people hit this one because these are on the map, so you can have an iron node down here that spawns. If this has been mined, but the one over in that direction hasn't, just skip this one. There's no point coming down here if there's no iron down here. And just go straight towards that one that is over in that direction. Just over there. There we go. Just don't worry about fall damage. For some reason, this I've jumped from stupidly high heights. And the most I've ever lost in fall damage is half of my health. I don't know what it's calculated on um, the fall damage wise. But yeah, so straight through this, past the riverbed. And at the very top of this dead riverbed here is the iron nodes. So over there is actually where we started. You can actually see the iron has already respawned. So if someone was to come along and mine it, we might actually get some back later on. But we're not finished yet. You can always cut across if you really want to. Um, I don't just yet. I actually run in 210. You can actually hear someone mining the iron right now maybe oh no he's over there so what we're gonna do is head this direction right here is where the next node spawns you can see the iron on the ground right here and now we're gonna head west we're gonna head like we're heading back to this settlement now look directly ahead you can see the iron over there if that has actually been eaten there's also iron that spawns here by the way as you can see running over now if this iron is being eaten the next node afterwards is just over there so you can always skip this and then just make your way over there these ones out here because they're directly next to the path especially that one just there um it's quite rare to see that up because people always eat these they're and they're never usually up so a lot of the time what i do is i come running down that road look ahead see if i see it there if not then i would just circle around and then hit up this node um it doesn't hopefully it'll respawn so i can show you nope but as you can see right here this is the final node and now we're going to head northeast go straight towards that road directly in front of us and you can see no one's touched the iron since we've been over there and it has partially respawned it is long enough where it does fully respawn as you can see just literally as we're coming up to it but guys i hope you found this one useful 
This is a pretty decent route to start off with. Hopefully, it won't get too busy on your servers as so many people watch this. But this is a really good, decent route. We will be releasing them for each of the um, each of the each of the uh, locations on the map for all of the guys. If you guys would like to see a certain guide for certain mineral or anything, you can see the next node up there. Okay, I don't know what is going on with our character, <laughs> but guys, hopefully enjoy this guide. If you did, don't forget to check out the Patreon. Help support the channel from as little as $3. You can always subscribe or join the, twi uh, the Twitch. Um, join us on Twitch as well as subscribe on the YouTube. All the great things. Don't forget to leave a like and hopefully you guys like this. Feedback is very much needed at the start of these kind of guides. Any feedback, whether it's trash, good, whatever. Just please make it so I can actually use the feedback. Not just the guide is shit or my route is ruined. Because if your route is ruined, then you know that you're a golden person because you know the best routes in the game. <laughs> but guys, have a great one. Hopefully I'll see everyone on Twitch and have a good day. Hey, climb out there, bro. You serious? I'm just going to stand here and just like cut this tree anonymously because there's definitely not going to be something coming down there to kill you. <laughs> Yes! Oh god, that's the best thing about the AI, dude. <laughs> and yeet. Oh, you can yeet yourself off.